Hey guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ZeroAutomation.com and welcome to part 5 of our API testing with REST Assured and Cucumber course. And in this video, we'll be talking about understanding and working with non-BDD styled REST Assured syntax. Finally, arrange act assert pattern. If you remember in our previous video, I guess in the first part, we saw how we can arrange the code in a non-BDD style format, something like this. And then we can act and assert using one single line instead of doing the given when then fashion that we have been discussing so far in this course. So as you can see, the arrange option that we have, we are using something called as a rest spec builder class. And within this rest spec builder, there are some method like set base URI and build methods. So the set base URI method is going to be something which is used for setting the URL that we have been passing within our application. So we can either pass the whole URL until the post or we can also specify just until this particular domain name of our application and then we can pass the relative path later in any place that we want. We can also pass a relative path something like request.get slash post slash two something like that. We can do that as well. And similarly, we can also set the content type if you want, and then we can build the whole request spec builder, and then we can call the rest given dot spec, and within the spec, we can we need to pass request spec builder as a input so that it creates a request object for us. So this is kind of very very cool because as you can see, the request spec builder class and request specification class within the rest assured library are so important that they play a key role while working with rest apis within our library so we are going to create something called as rest assured extension within our code so that it is going to have a constructor something like this and as you can see it has pretty much exactly the same thing that we saw in here in the arrange just that we're going to be creating some additional options like content type and also we're going to return this particular specification within a request variable so that we can use this particular request variable within our code. So this is going to be very, very interesting because we are going to dissect our code that we have discussed so far into a much granular level so that we can keep on extending our code as a method and we can liberates the power of rest shoots non BDD style fashion and we can use that within our cucumbers BDD step definitions. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that I'm gonna flip to IntelliJ IDE. Alright so this is our IntelliJ IDE and this is the same project that we have been using so far in our course. The first thing I'm gonna do is to create a package here within this particular folder. So we're jumping from test to the main so that we can start writing our libraries and I'm going to create a library this time called as utilities and within this utilities I'm going to create a class called rest assured extension and this rest assured extension class is going to be responsible for holding all of our different methods that we'll be working with and once again as I said the rest assured extension class is going to be the one point place where it's going to have all the arrange and assert options for us. So I'm going to create a constructor here and I'm going to call this as a rest assured extension and this particular rest assured extension is going to have our arrange options. So something like request spec builder and I'm going to call this as request spec builder is equal to new request spec builder and this request spec builder class if you go over here you can see it has nothing other than setting the body setting the content adding the cookies adding the filter adding the path parameter adding the query parameter adding the form parameter something like that but the spec builder is not the one that we need to use a lot rather since this is a specification class there is one more class called request specification class which is going to have all the different types of requests that we can make within the rest api so we'll be talking about that in a minute but just that since we already have the request spec builder right now i'm just going to be calling this request spec builder set base uri and the base uri that i'm going to pass in is going to be http colon localhost colon 3000 and then 
I'm going to set the content type as content type dot JSON. So uh, because this is going to be like uh, a builder, I probably prefer to use this as a builder instead of request spec builder. All right. And I'm also going to create a request spec here. And I'm just going to call the builder dot build method. So now that you can see that this particular build method is going to return me what is called as a request specification class. And now you can ask me what is this request specification class and why is it so important? So if you go to the request specification class, you can see it extends from a request sender class and the request specification class has everything that we need. Something like bodies that we have been using so long and then it has cookies and it has parameters and it has query parameter and it has form parameters and it has path parameters something like this configuration key stores relaxed https validation if you're not really going to be working with an http if you want to relax that you can do that as well and similarly there are headers content types multi parts and all those different kinds of options that we ever require while working with rest assured api is all sitting within this particular class. So we need to create what is called as a static implementation of the request specification, which I'm going to be doing something like this over here. And then we can call the request is equal to rest assured dot given dot spec of request specification, something like this. That's it. So this is how we can create a very, very simple constructor so that we can start creating the rest of our methods. So now you can ask me how our methods are going to look like. So as you can go back to our code over here in the BDD styled method, we have already implemented this particular part of our coding with our non BDD style code over here in the arrange, just that we need to then perform a get and then we need to verify the body or whatever content that we are intended intended to verify so we have two more options left here so the first thing is we need to perform the get operation or post operation or delete or patch or put or something like that so we have to perform the action right now which is nothing but act operation so we have already completed the arrange and for the act i'm going to be creating a method something like public static void get ops with path parameter so let's say i'm going to be working with a path parameter and for that as you know that for the path parameter the first thing i require is a url and because path parameter method actually accepts a map i'm going to be calling a map of string of string and within this path parameter I'm going to do the act. So for the act, I'm just going to do this. So request dot. So once I hit the request dot, you can see that I have the option like path parameter, content type, and all those different tasks. So I can call the path parameter, and then I'm going to pass this particular path parameter that I'm going to be adding within this method, right? And then I need to call a get here. Within that, I need to pass the URL. So for the URL, I can just pass the new URI of the URL and make sure you also add the try catch block if you want. There you go. That's it. Or you can also add a method signature or something like this. Very, very simple, right? So this is how you can work with the get ops with path parameters. So you can write this kinds of method. You can keep on extending this kinds of method which is going to be even much simpler and much easier. So let's say if I want to do a get ops and uh, let's say I just want to perform the get operation, something like this, I can write a method, something like this here, right? And I can keep on extending like with path parameter and with query parameter and also with body if I want to for the post and things of that nature, I can keep on doing that. So this is how we can leverage the power of rest assured extension class that we are going to be dealing with in our upcoming videos of this course. 
Now next video we'll see how we can use these methods and we can call these methods within our code and see how things work. So for that, stay tuned for our next video. Thank you.